Hello, everyone. Sue Onischuk here, continuing the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And today we're continuing with review four, and we are on lesson 149. And in this lesson, the, uh, the two previous lessons that we are reviewing are lesson 137 and 138. So as we begin today, uh, you know, what I want to share with you is that, you know, acknowledge you for being here. Uh, acknowledge you for uh, practicing, um, studying and practicing this uh, Course in Miracles. And I hope as you're going along, you're also uh, doing these lessons that you're reading the text to really um, set in the principles of the course. Uh, this course, just to remind you, is very, very layered. And um, I've been practicing it for quite a number of years now. And um, it has opened up my mind and opened up my heart. And um, yes, I experience more peace and um, in my life and, um, you know, understand these principles uh, at a deeper level. And um, it's not just about understanding. It's not about intellectualizing this course. It's about practicing. It's about practicing day by day by day and almost moment by moment. It's not necessarily that we're awake moment by moment because we slip in and out of, of the, the ego. Um, the ego thought system. And, and this here particular lesson has the theme of my mind holds only what I think with God. Now, you know, in my practice, I use many references um, to refer to, uh, to reflect on. And because I also facilitate other um, Course in Miracles groups, um, you know, it's a uh, for me, I'm, I'm constantly in the space of, of doing some preparation and, and, and I am doing my best to share uh, from my own experiences. Um, I do have some notes here today uh, because as I prepare for you, I also listen to other student teachers, of course. This is course, again, I may have mentioned that previously that you know it says it's an independent self-study, but I haven't done this study by myself. The independence uh, uh, self-study is about studying yourself, but it's in sharing with others that, um, that I know my experiences and my suggestion is, is that you will get more and more value out of the course. So it was just there for me to say that today. The notes that I've taken today are um, from some other very valuable teachers. Um, uh, I've referred often to the uh, workbook uh, manual of A Course in Miracles, take me to truth.com, and um, also uh, Pathways of Light. There's a number uh, the, of um, uh, teachers, student teachers out there that have generated a lot of information. And um, I'm here because I made the commitment to practice these lessons or not to practice yet to practice them for one yes but to, to do these videos every day for uh, a whole year for 365 days um you know as of tomorrow there will be um we're doing 149 today and, and be at 150 um tomorrow so um as i'm doing this again i appreciate you being here because um today's lesson is my mind holds the theme is in this review, my mind holds only what I think with God. And when I am healed, I am not healed alone. So um, your, your being here and uh, your listening to these videos, um, we are all healing together. So I'll leave it at that. Um, and I'm gonna be sharing with you, as I said, some notes that I've taken today and um, so we'll begin with, uh, again, the lesson 137 review is, like, as I just mentioned, when I'm healed, I'm not healed alone. And um, lesson 138 is heaven is a dec the decision that I must make. And so with regards to when I am healed, I'm not healed alone. Um, what I was reminded of today is that, again, 
Um, the truth is, is that there is only one mind. We do not have two minds. We only hold the thoughts we think with God. Now, the ego thought system that we reference uh, in, in, in the course is not a mind. It's just a program. It's our conditioning. It's the identity and the personality that we've created for ourselves. It, that is um, a collection um, of suggested opposites of what God is knowing. So um, a lot of what we come from or where we come from is, you know, the I know is what, you know, I know from the past. So we keep bringing the past into the present moment. And as we continue to work with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit um, helps assists us in, in, in reconnecting ourselves with God because we believe that we're separate from God. So anytime we are in the ego thought system, we separated from God. So um, because there is only, there is just one, um, the one mind um, of each of us, the oneness, there's just one mind. This is the oneness that it refers to in the course. And, you know, as we are created by God, we express that mind. And when we do so, um, we are actually thinking from truth. You know, we're thinking God's thoughts. And again, the thoughts are coming from the mind of God. The ego system, again, is not a mind. It's just a thought system. It's a programming. It's a conditioning. And we're not the ego. We might think we are, but we're not. They're only thoughts, which are not real, because we are not our thoughts. We have a God mind. So, um, you know, when, when, we have, um, one of us has a, 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 a revelation, uh, you know, we share these thoughts and the revelation comes from God. Um, and, and it's not, it, this is not just for, for me alone. It's just, it's not for ourselves alone. So um, as, as we awaken, um, as one of us awaken from the dream, the illusion that the Course is speaking of, uh, this, the, or we might refer to as a sleeping mind, uh, as we awaken, it, it allows more light in. And, and when we're in that space of light, we're providing the light for everyone. When we're in that space of love, we're pro providing that for everyone in the one mind that we share. So again, as we awaken, it, it does not benefit us alone. It doesn't benefit me alone. It says, it's the lesson says, when I am healed, I'm not healed alone. Uh, you know, this is why there are no private thoughts. This is why there's no private forgiveness. My Forgiving myself affects the oneness. And again, there's no private acceptance of the, of the atonement, of letting go of guilt. It affects everyone. It affects the oneness. It comes back again. I, I repeat it often because it's, to me, it's simple. And yet it's so powerful when you think about the whole idea of a pebble in a pond. And the effect the pebble has. The, the pebble thrown in a pond causes a ripple. I say if that 
pebble is is from the mind of God or it's love, it's rippling it out to 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 the oneness. If it's a thought of the ego or I use the word negative, it's rip, rippling out negativity to the oneness. So um, where where am I at? Okay, so so all there is all there is is to express our true self. You know, to awaken to that we are all one in Christ. And and in that to see the Christ in our brothers and sisters in this oneness. So as I see, as we see the love and the light, the Christ in our brothers and sisters, you know, it reminds, it reminds us too that, that we are love. And, um, you know, we, we can see our, our brothers and sisters, um, you know, we may see them calling out for love. And actually that is our, it's reflecting back to us, our call for love. So again, we are either in the space of love or calling out for love. Um, you know, that's our brother. They're, it's, well, they're either in the space of love or they're calling out for love. And again, this is all about, is what I'm expressing here, is all about healing. And when I am healed, as this lesson is teaching us, I am not healed alone. That, that's powerful to be able to get that. That's what motivates me. You know, when I, when I really get that in the moment to be able to continue to, uh, to do this work. So that's in reference to lesson 137 review. Now, 138 is heaven is a decision I must make. And now, again, this, this course, again, is a mind training program. It is all about undoing the ego thought system, all about undoing the ego programming and, and conditioning. Circumstances may look unique to all of us, but we all put meaning to things. I was just sharing that with a friend today. We were in a conversation. And just stop and think. Something happens. And and. Listen for the story that you create in your mind. We got to a place of, you know, Jesus says somewhere in the course that he forgot to laugh. We got to the point of laughing at because in our conversation, we're recognizing how we make up this story. I may, we may have this thought and then I could take off with that thought or I see a circumstance or see something about a brother or a sister or something about the world and I can take off and make up all kinds of things in my mind. And my friend in our conversation, she recognized the same thing. And this is what we're undoing. And, you know, we are moving forward into recognizing the one mind of God which is all based in love. The ego is all based in fear. And again, we can't be in both places. We're in one or the other. So with regards to heaven is, is the decision I must make, going back to lesson 138, in, in paragraph four, it says, you need to be reminded that you think a thousand choices are confronting you when there is really only one to make actually in, in every moment. And even this, but seems to be a choice. And it says, do not confuse yourself with all the doubts that the myriad of decisions or the, that the myriad of decisions would, would induce. We make but one decision. And when that one is made, Heaven is a decision I must make. You will perceive it was, was no choice at all. 
It's no choice at all because heaven, the kingdom of heaven lies within. For truth is true and nothing else is true. Nothing else is real. The ego is not real. It is not truth. It's something we made up in our mind. And there is no opposite to choose instead. The ego is all about opposites. And there's no contradiction to the truth. So it goes on in, in chapter nine. I'm, I'm sorry, not nine, in, in uh, paragraph nine, not chapter. And it says, heaven is chosen consciously. We need to be awake in the moment to choose heaven. So the choice cannot be made until alternatives are accurately seen and understood. This is why we're looking at the altar. You know what? To see. Where, where am I? All that is veiled in shadows, shadows in darkness, you know, in the ego thought system must be raised to understanding to be judged again, this time with heaven's help. Again, the Course says we look at our darkness, but we don't dwell in it. And I also want to add here, when you find yourself in the, the ego thought system, see it as a gift. I know my own self was to work through that I would judge myself, think it was wrong for me to have that thought. But now if the thought comes to me, if I'm in a space of judging or, 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 or you know, if I'm triggered or whatever, it's, it's wait a minute, here's, here's, here's something for me to forgive. This is something for me to forgive, to move forward back into the light. It says all the mistakes and judgment that the mind had made before are open to correction. A mistake is only something to be corrected. As the truth dismisses them as causeless. Now are they without effects? See, we look at the effects. We see the effects of the world, but what's the cause? The cause is what's in our mind. When I, when I, my mind is all fear-based, I'm going to see fear in the illusions out in the world. It's not real. The Course says there's no world. When my mind is, when I am connected to the one mind, that, you know, the mind of God, that's when I see the love in myself and see the love in my brothers and sisters. So it says, you know, now they're, they, now are they without effects. They cannot be concealed because their nothingness is recognized. We recognize, this is the point, is, is, is that the ego is nothing. God is everything. With God, all things are possible. With God, there are infinite possibilities. So it's all about being uh, fully accountable throughout the day for believing in the illusion and the ego. You know, we really, it's almost a moment to by, by moment, but we're not there yet by any means completely. But we have the opportunity almost moment by moment because we're so programmed, have been so programmed the condition to the ego thought system. So again, we're, it's to be accountable and responsible, as I mentioned a minute ago about being triggered. You know, when we get triggered or we uh, attack ourselves or another, or, you know, again, when we feel defensive, when we are being judgmental, ourself towards ourselves and others, you know, it's, it's to raise our awareness and to practice to give this whatever it is, a judgment attack or whatever, and, and, uh, and the illusion, give it over to the Holy Spirit. It can't be said enough, is to give it over to the Holy Spirit. Forgiving ourselves for believing in it. And there's that prayer again that, you know, I have in front of me as, as often as I can, you know, it's again, I'll give uh, Nook Sanchez the, the 
credit for, for creating this prayer. Holy Spirit, please help me to forgive myself for having unknowingly used the unknowingly used again my brother, my sister, my partner, my friend, uh, financial scarcity, uh, pain, lack, using any of that to forgive myself for having unknowingly used any of that to attack myself and to separate from your love as my holy self. You speak that, you truly let go of whatever and allow the Holy Spirit to do the work, to step back into the light. So when we give this again to the Holy Spirit to, to heal our thoughts, and to do, for the Holy Spirit to divinely repurpose our mind to the mind of God, where in the mind of God, there are no opposites. All there is is love. When, when our mind, again, is repurposed to the mind of God, all there is is love. All there is is health. All there is is abundance. All there is is joy. And all there is is peace. There's no opposites there. It's not love, hate, health, sickness, abundance, lack, sadness, joy, peace, conflict. No, it's only in God. It's our divine inheritance is love, health, abundance, joy, and peace. If we're in pain, it's because something in our mind is not of God. So all of this brings us back into the light. And as I mentioned earlier, the kingdom of heaven lies within. It's within. This is why we're doing the inner work. This program, this course, I should say, is about inner peace. So, again, today's theme is my mind holds only what I think with God. And heaven, heaven is a decision I must make. That's it. And when I am healed, I am not healed alone. So that's lesson 149. Thank you for being here and for practicing the Course in Miracles to be a stand for your healing and to know the difference you are making for the oneness in, in your um, being open to be healed. All right. The next video will be uh, on lesson 150. And actually, they'll be completing review for. So in the meantime, as always, I end these videos. Please go below here. Uh, this is a YouTube video you'll see below to like, hit the, hit the like button. Please comment. I appreciate your comments. I've been receiving them. It's great to, to see who is um, part of this growing Course in Miracles community. And um, the, the other is um, like, comment, and share this, please. Share this video. You know, I can't say it enough. You know, I used to end my other videos that I did, and I'm going to say it here is, you know, with this, the title of a song, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And we most definitely need, um, we need love, much more love uh, on this planet right now. So please share it out. People are looking for not necessarily a course of miracles but they're looking for what the Course of Miracles has to offer in terms of the principles and practices. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you who have, thank you. And what else was there to say? I think that's it. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to being with you for lesson 150. Um, I extend my love to you from my heart to yours. Have a joy filled, peaceful day. And uh, 
I look forward to being with you in the next video. Bye for now.